Rod Frederick has been painting his entire life, and life is where Rod finds his inspiration. Most of what I do is based on the experiences that I've had in the wild, too. Of course, I contrive them and make them a little bit different when I get back to the studio, but I try to gather up as much as I possibly can and try to do different uh, shapes and sizes for the paintings, too, because it, each independent animal has, uh, it has a different format that it needs to be shown in. So the miniatures, the smaller pieces, are kind of fun to do. Plus, they don't take quite as long to do, and I can get more finished. So I really love this piece that we're standing in front of. I think that's why I wanted to stand here, the Spotted in the Midst, which is inspired from Latin America, Central America. Um, tell me a little bit about this one. I, I love the birds, and I, I just love this. <laughs> well, years ago, I spent, uh, I went down to the Yucatan area, and I really kind of fell in love with the Mayan culture and to see some of the things. Then, of course, you're seeing a lot of the animals that are still living amidst all of the ruins. And, so this particular piece uh, I did was based on a trip to, to Yucatan and, and Guatemala, Belize, and I kind of took some of the architectural aspects of it and put some of the animals that are found in there too. And that was a lot of fun. I've done quite a few paintings along those lines. This particular one shows a jaguar uh, back among the ruins. It, it's something that could have happened 300 years ago and hopefully 300 years in the future. I'm trying to get it to where the animals can still be found and, and coexist with humans. Oh, I like that. And I've noticed in several of the paintings that I've been looking at is that you'll have little tiny things that you might not notice at first, like a little butterfly or a little bird. Yeah, quite often. In fact, even at my house, I've, I've made my landscape out there uh, with a lot of different animals. I've brought in a lot of birds accidentally, but they're there. And so a lot of times when you're out there just drinking a cup of coffee or whatever else, you'll find there's a little chickadee that's been watching you right next to you too. And I, I try to incorporate that into my paintings too, just as much. So quite often there'll be butterflies, such as in the Spotted in the Mist painting, and uh, different types of things that, should, that aren't evident right when you start the, the idea of sitting there. In addition to his larger works on display at Rimrod Gallery, Rod has four paintings in the current Small Work Show. One has a heron in it, and sometimes it's even fun coming up with the titles, and, and sometimes it's a chore coming up with the titles, but this particular one with the heron has him standing in some tall cattails, and I just have a little bit of the heron and a lot of the cattails, and so I ended up calling the, the painting Tall Tails oh, with I the like T-A-I-L-S. So oh, I like quite that. often, yeah, playing on the, on the titles uh, with the subject matter is pretty fun. And another one I did has a great horned owl in it and a full moon. And I only recently, within the last four or five years, started painting at, um, nighttime type scenes. And I thought that was a new challenge to have a painting that isn't too dark, but yet you know that it's supposed to be nighttime. So that particular one is a female great horned owl and it has the full moon, so call it Bella Luna. Ooh. So another one that kind of worked with it. Uh, quite often the, the titles don't come as easily as that. So that was, that's two of them that I had just finished. And uh, another one with a gra ruffed grouse. Uh, Mount Jefferson, which is a very easy to see mountain around here in Central Oregon, and that has the rough grouse, and I put some snow on the mountains, but kind of gold on the aspens, because you could tell it's fall, changing seasons, so it's called rough winter ahead. Rod defines his unique style as romantic realism. I like to try to somehow capture the feel, as opposed to just on a two-dimensional surface. So. Uh, Quite often, I'll, I'll try to I'll start out with just blocking in the colors where it doesn't have much detail, and then I just get kind of consumed with the detail, the textures of the animals and the plants and the rocks and everything around you. So I just keep working on it until I have a lot of stuff in. I just really like to do detailed paintings. Being in Rod's presence is uplifting, so it's no surprise that he has positive advice for aspiring painters. My encouraging word is words would be to paint if you're going to be a, a painter. Paint what really excites you, the subject matter that really excites you, and don't try to copy another artist mm -hmm. so much. I mean, you can still take elements from here and there because we're always learning from everybody else anyway. But I would say just paint what you know and make yourself know more by going out to the things that interest you. It's a, it's a fun life. The Small Works Show at Rimrock Gallery features over 65 original paintings and small bronzes from nearly two dozen artists from the Northwest and beyond including works from Rod Frederick. <music>